Hey guys, um, so I have been wearing my Freestyle Libre for two weeks now, and it is time to change it. Anyhow, you can kind of see how the tape is holding up. Um, there was a big piece of tape over this one, which came off, but this one has been holding strong. Edges are coming off now, but it is still on there. And you'll see if I scan it now, it gives me this angry warning it says change it in two hours so um, I'm gonna go ahead and change it um, so this is the first time I am changing it we'll see what it looks like underneath and I have got another one ready to go so I guess I'll take off the old one first oh, there, here it is um, so I guess I'll take off the old one first um, I was trying to get skin tack or something for the second time I did this, but it hasn't been bothering me, so maybe I'll um, wait until I need it. So here is the new box, new sensor. So as you see, it comes with instructions. It has the two pieces in here. So this is the sensor, this is the applicator, and here are some skin prep wipes and they mention this on the box but you're supposed to check that the codes match on the two but they come in the box so I'm pretty sure they do and also in my last video it was kind of stupid um, I was saying that you need a converter to plug in to plug in the uh, charger but you don't you can either just plug it into your laptop with a USB cable to charge or you can use any uh, USB dongle to plug it in. So, I guess I'll take off this one first before I put on the new one and see what it looks like. And this is the first time I'm taking it off, so. Let's see. So the tape, this KT tape sticks pretty well to the skin and to the sensor. It doesn't seem to stick well to itself though, so that's why I think that other piece came off. But it seems to be pretty much on my skin and the sensor. So. Let's see if we can... The edges of the sensor are coming off here. So, that's what it looks like. Here's the inside of the sensor, if you can see it. If my camera will focus on it. I guess that's the little, uh, the little thing that sticks in is the, the filament. But see, it's, uh, it's a little bit, a little bit firm. So that's the inside of the sensor. You can see my blood, I guess. <laughs> um, I guess it stuck on pretty well. My skin doesn't seem too, uh, too irritated. So I'll go ahead and put on the new one. I'm going to try the other arm this time. Okay, this is my skin prep wipe. I'm not sure exactly where it's going to end up exactly because it's a little bit hard to tell so I'm just gonna wipe the whole area here I want to say there's something other than just alcohol in there it kind of doesn't smell just like alcohol it seems like it has a little different consistency but 
pre-injection swab. I'm just going to use another one too. There's two in there. <laughs> Might as well because each box comes with a pack of two. It's reminding me to take my insulin, you guys. It's another thing. You can set reminders on the Freestyle Libre, which is kind of cool. Okay, so while my arm is drying, I'll go ahead and unscrew this one. So that is the sensor in there. And then... Oh, so the sensor, hmm, I don't know. Okay, and then you got this piece, take off the top. And then this part you actually have to push pretty hard, but you line up. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. You line up these two lines, this line here, this line here. like so. And then you, I put it down on a surface last time because you actually had to push kind of hard to uh, get it in. So you get it in like that. Ta-da. Now this is the scary part <laughs> because when you look at it, there's like, a there's like a pretty decent looking needle in there. You can see the needle. But it doesn't hurt. I did it before. It doesn't hurt. You have to push pretty hard. It's a little bit intimidating, but it didn't hurt last time. So it's not going to hurt this time. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I kind of did it this way maybe last time. Let's see. I feel like it was kind of like right here. I'm going to say that's how I did it last time. Does that seem like a good spot? Okay, now here's the fun part. Now you just got to shove it into your arm. And you got to do it pretty hard, so... Arm seems dry. Okay, moment of truth here. Not bad, see it's flat here. Now last time I remember it was a little bit tricky kind of pulling it off so that. <laughs> so it's kind of in there. I'm nervous about the sensor not staying on my skin. <laughs> Stay on sensor, please. Okay. <laughs> no big deal. It's just on my skin now. There we go. Maybe I needed to twist it a little bit. Anyhow, it came off pretty easily. So here we go. Sensor number two. Seems to be on okay. So I'm going to tape that on just like I did the other one. And now when I turn it on... See? Okay, so it says check glucose. Last time there was an option that said start. Let's see what happens when I scan it. New sensor found, it says. Can you see? It says new sensor found. Starting a new sensor will end the sensor you're currently using. Would you like to start the new one now? Yes. Scan it to start. Starting up, ready in 60 minutes. So there we go. I was switching it out. Pretty easy.